Hi guys, Sophie here. So today I'm going to show you how to make an amazing, all-natural, non-toxic deodorant. Alright, so why make your own deodorant? Well, obviously, you've got to buy all those deodorants in the store. A lot of them contain aluminum salts fragrance and all kinds of other ingredients which I personally do not love to put underneath my arms. The truth is we are actually supposed to sweat which is why I actually prefer deodorants rather than antiperspirants because to get a real antiperspirant to stop you from sweating the sweat ducts need to be plugged up which is what the aluminum salts are typically used for. So what I'm going to show you today is a deodorant that really is a true true deodorant. It will deodorize your underarms and you know what the odor it comes from bacteria and that bacteria gathers when the moisture sort of sits for a while on the skin and that's what you're smelling it's the bacteria so if we can make something which will neutralize uh, that that odor that smell and is antibacterial then we're winning all the way around and what I love about this DIY is that it's really simple so stay with me let me show you the ingredients that you're going to need eight tablespoons of distilled water four tablespoons of witch hazel two teaspoons of glycerin, or you could use even better, a glycerin rose water mix. I'll obviously put the links for these underneath the video. Two teaspoons of organic aloe vera juice. And then we have the three essential oils that we're using. We are using uh, lemon, we're using lavender, and we're using bergamot. And again, the actual amounts will be underneath the video. And aside from that, you just need to spray a bottle. I prefer that you use a sprayer bottle that is actually either steel like this or is opaque glass because the essential oils are light sensitive. So this is how easy it is to make it. I have my water here and then I'm just going to add my witch hazel. Actually, I only had half the amount of witch hazel there. So I'm just going to add the rest of it right there. Then we're adding the glycerin, which actually gives it a nice feel. Slightly moisturizing, so you won't get dry. I don't like it when it's dry, dry and too pasty, like some of those pastes. But the rose water is a beautiful addition. So I'm just going to add that straight in there. Then I'm going to add my aloe vera juice, which is also antibacterial, softening, very skin friendly. And then finally, I'm going to add my essential oils. Oh, there we go. Finally, bergamot. Bergamot, by the way, is a really, really great oil for combating odor. I put it in, a, in a, some of my DIY freshening sprays. Okay, so all we're going to do is just swirl that around. I'm going to take my bottle here. I'm going to pour it in like so. And then you just want to make sure that you are going to shake it well before each use. So let's give it a good shake. And then I'm just going to spritz a bit here. Oh, it smells so lovely. So you're going to really love this deodorant. It works, it smells lovely. You can make it for yourself, you can make it for your friends and family. Give it a go. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel as you're going to find the loads of other DIYs there. And leave me comments, leave me suggestions for other videos. I love your comments. I'll see you next time, guys.